This is Jared Smith from WebAIM. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the WAVE standalone API. The API comes in a downloadable zip file. Simply extract the zip file to a location of your choice. There are three directories. Core contains the WAVE processing engine. htdocs contains the website files that need to be accessible on your web server. And temp stores temporary result files as well as screenshots if you configure the API to take them. Any web server that has PHP installed will support the WAVE API. I've created a temporary website directory on the WebAIM server, which is a 64-bit Linux Apache cloud server. First, I'll upload the files in the core directory using my FTP program. The phantom.js files are headless versions of Chrome, which render the web pages for wave analysis. I don't need the 32-bit Linux, Mac, or Windows versions for my installation. So I'll create a new core directory on the web server and then upload the files that I need. Next, I'll upload the temp directory. And finally, the files in the htdocs folder need to be placed in a directory that is accessible via the web server. In my case, I've named this public. Once uploaded, I need to change a few file permissions. The temp folders need to be writable by the web server account. I also need to make the core api.config.json file writable. This file stores configuration data for the API, I can change and edit permissions in my FTP program. I also need to make the phantom.js file executable so it can run on the web server. So I'll give it execute permissions. These permissions can also be set via the command line. Next, I need to edit the user.config.json file in my public directory. This file contains default configuration options for the API. The key parameter is the API key that must be sent with each request. This key is unique and based on your license. Platform is correct for this server, Linux 64, but would be changed to Linux 32, Windows.exe, or Mac, depending on your platform. I now need to define the paths to the core and temp directories I uploaded previously. The path to my core directory is var websites wave temp core. And the path to my temp directory is var websites wave temp temp. The rest of the configuration parameters are defined and explained in the API documentation. The defaults should be fine. I can override these though by passing these parameters with each API request. I'll save this file, copy my API key, and switch to the web browser and begin accessing the API. I've defined the API URL as webaim.org slash wave temp and I want to access the request.php file and pass the appropriate key and URL parameters. I'm going to check the w3.org homepage. There we go. The API is working and returning the accessibility data for this page. I can see that there is one error and 20 contrast errors on this particular page. I can change additional URL parameters as desired, such as getting the results in XML format. I can now begin integrating the API as desired. In another video, I'll show you how easy it is to use the Wave API to analyze any number of pages on your website and begin storing the accessibility test results.